It's a great question. Totally accidental. Andrew Charlo and I own restaurants and a hotel. So before opening diner I was a bartender and I was also a painter and an artist. And that business on the corner of the old diner was vacant and we became available and had been left there for a long time and we decided to take it over with a group of friends and rehabilitate it and you know spark new life into it. The vision really was about having a place for people who live nearby to come together and gather and have a place to eat. The first restaurant was Diner, which we talked about, and then the next restaurant was Marlow and Sons. Then after Marlow and Sons, we opened Marlow and Daughters, which is the butcher shop. Then we opened Romans. And then we opened Renard and the White Hotel and the Ides. And most recently we've opened Achilles Heel, which is a bar in Greenpoint. And I guess in the middle of between the White Hotel and Achilles Heel, we've opened Marlowe Goods, which is a store that uh, my wife runs. Well, at the diner, you know, we source all our food, like all the other restaurants. From directly from farms. We buy all our meat directly from farms, so all the animals that we use in the restaurant come in whole form. They get brought to our butcher shop and brought to our store and they get taken apart and then used for all the food services. And equally those um, those animals, the hides of those animals go turned into leather bags that my wife is designing. So the restaurant now has really become a holistic idea of lots of different pieces. We are committed to our farmers from a, a long-term standpoint. And when they go to slaughter, they get taken to the slaughterhouse and then they get picked up there and driven to our butcher shop and we're driven to the hotel. We have a, a uh, commissary here where we can break our animals down. And we, the whole animal comes and the certain parts are allocated towards each, um, for each of the chefs. And then they do the menu planning based on what is coming out. We spent a lot of time connecting the dots. And we're hoping to kind of continue to grow those connections. Bigger picture is like, can we grow organic cotton in the United States, you know? Can, can we really trace all those things back? I mean, I've always been passionate about food growing up as a kid, and I had grandparents who were super passionate about food, and my parents, but it's, uh, I do believe that there is a kind of innate thing that most people hold in terms of like wanting to take care of others. And certainly the easiest way to take care of someone is to cook food for them and then present it. So I think it's a pretty natural um, idea in all of us. And whether, you know, that can be a business or whether that's what you do at home or... But we all do that for each other quite often, right? It's a great expression of our care for other human beings. That's a great question. Um, I'm certainly excited about all the people who work in these businesses and all the people who bring so much energy on a daily basis to what we do. Um, I'm equally super excited about our farmers um, and about the guests who partake in it. You know, I mean, I think this is really being able to connect those dots and take care of people in that way and 
take care of our employees is definitely the thing that brings me to work on a daily basis.